Hello, hello. Now, as some of you are probably aware, the hardcore among you, I'm actually on a vacation at the moment, but the PlayStation Store does not stop for a single man. Not even me. Not even when it's my job to deliver the deals to you guys. And the PlayStation Store decided to go ahead and publish a new deal called Prequels and Sequels. Now look, I'm on vacation. I don't have time to be doing intros for a prequels and sequels sale, so I'm gonna go and get our, our prequel or past version of Josh to go ahead and, and intro that one for us. So over to you, past Josh. Uh, hi, YouTube. Um, this is my video about the PlayStation prequels and sequels uh, sale. We're, uh, we're gonna talk about some of the deals and sale. <coughs> um, and uh, and then when and which games that you should buy. Um, sorry about the lighting and the camera. I uh, haven't got a, a good camera yet, and um, it's nighttime when I'm recording, so that we don't have we don't have any light in here. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yikes! Oh, that was that was bad. I forgot how bad we were. Uh, maybe we'll get the sequel version of Josh uh, to do the intro. Can can you can you handle that, uh, future Josh? Yo, Platinum Trophy fam, how are we doing today? Yo, before we start, I just want to say thank you so much for the one million views on my new single. Deal King on Spotify. Go ahead and listen to it over on Spotify if you haven't already heard it. Deal King. We're nearing in on 10 million subscribers now. Smash that subscribe button down below. You guys know you need to. You know you gotta smash that subscribe button for your G over here. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. We're giving away five PlayStation 5s on the channel to celebrate my five milli over here. Yeah! You guys are not gonna believe. I just had to get the Lambo serviced. It costs like $2,000 to smash that like button to help a brother out. All right, we got some deals up in here. The Deal King is in the house. Let's go and do this. Guys, we've got to kill this monster now. We cannot let this happen. All right, let's get on with the video. Look, let's not bit around the bush here. I'm recording this video on my vacation, my one week off from YouTube. If you're not already a subscriber of the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I think now is the time for us to make this thing official. If you're an existing viewer of the channel, of course, you can go ahead and hit that like button to help this video out in the YouTube algorithm. You guys are already legends in my book. Hopefully the windsock is protecting as much of my audio as possible so this doesn't sound completely terrible, but I might try and change the angle before we look at the first deal. Okay, I couldn't find a good enough spot, so we're just gonna kind of walk and do this at the same time. This is a vlog version of a deals video, which I don't know how this is gonna work, but we'll see. First of all, I want to talk about Bioshock and Bioshock 2 Remastered. These games are both discounted down to 15 bucks each. Now, that's not a great deal because traditionally, or in previous sales, they've been $10 for both plus infinite. So all three games, which is a way better deal. So don't pick these up for 15 bucks each. The only reason that you would pick these ones up over the, uh, the, the bundle is if you wanted additional Platinums because these two games in the EU and Asia have separate trophy lists on the PS4. So if you're looking for you're a trophy hunter who wants to platinum Bioshock and Bioshock 2 again, then 15 bucks to pick each of these up individually, I guess is not bad for trophies. But if you're just a normal person looking for deals, buy the $10 bundle with all three of them. Don't buy this deal, it's not a good deal. Look at some horses in the background here. Uh, Shinmu 3 is also discounted down to $15. I'm not a massive Shinmu fan, but I know a lot of people in the audience are because people often reference them in the comment section of my videos. So I'm gonna call it out here. Uh, third person adventure game, I would say. It is a little bit dated despite being a new game. I don't think the design philosophies really got improved that much on it but if you're into Shenmue and those games it could be a good time to pick this up at a discounted price. Peggle 2 is down to $2.99 if you have EA Access or EA Play go and pick it up with EA Access because it's a better deal there picking up EA Access for I think it's still a dollar 99 cents and getting to play the game for a month unlimited along with all the other EA games. If you don't have EA Access though, $2.99 is a pretty decent deal for Peggle. There's actually two versions of Peggle in the sale. One I think is like $3.50 and the other one's $2.99. Make sure you get the cheap one. The, the more expensive one doesn't really come with a bunch more stuff. It's not worth your time. Just Cause 3 is down to $4.49 really really solid open world action game here a lot of you guys might have picked up just cause 4 with playstation plus when it was free a month or so ago uh this could be a good opportunity to pick up just cause 3 essentially like a budgeter version of grand theft auto massive island like tropical island where you're destroying things flying around breaking cars making explosions happen the game's really focused on explosions and stunts um it's actually a pretty cool game it's got a grappling hook and a and a flying suit which uh which is pretty enjoyable as well i'm not massive fans of unravel unravel 1 
1 and 2. They're, they're really good co-op games. Uh, together it's $5.99. Again, if you have EA Access, it's a better deal to pick this up with EA Access. But if you're uh, if you're looking to, to play a split-screen co-op game with a friend, these are really cool 2D side-scrollers. Um, the concept is neat. I, I personally just didn't enjoy the games that much. But I, I know, again, they're a, a fun game to play with a sibling, a brother, or a loved one, because they're really simple, they're not too complicated in their control schemes, and, and they're quite forgiving. You're also getting two games for this price, and they're both relatively easy platinum trophies if you're a trophy hunter as well. Ride 3 is also down to $5.99. This isn't the newest ride game. There's, I believe, a Ride 4, uh, which still blows my mind that they released four ride games on the PlayStation 4. Uh, but this is down to 6 bucks. Not a bad game for a motorcycle racing game. I think I played Ride 1 and 2 way back in the day when I was really hardcore trophy hunting. Uh, this one here, I, I mean, it seems okay. It doesn't seem like there's anything too bad about it. I'm sure it's just more motorcycle race. If you're a trophy hunter, Cars 3 Driven to Win is a great option as well. Uh, a pretty straightforward kart race, essentially a kart racing game. In fact, if you're wanting a, a semi-decent kart racer, it's not actually that bad. It's definitely not as good as Mario Kart or Crash Team Racing, so those are the peaks, but for 10 bucks, uh, it's another pretty straightforward platinum trophy that you can earn, and uh, it's not that bad either. Uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue is down to $10 as well. The Assassin's Creed games all tend to peak around that $10 mark, so this isn't an outstanding deal. This is the like budget Assassin's Creed game that came out uh, a couple of years ago. It's not outstanding by any means. It's, it's as good as the other Assassin's Creed games, but they all traditionally drop down to this low sort of 15 11 price point so if you're wanting any of the assassin's creed games they all generally do dip to this price so i wouldn't rush out and buy this um but it is probably a game that a lot of people haven't played because it's just a a lower budget assassin's creed game battlefield 1 and battlefield 5 are both down to this 10 dollar price point Battlefield 5, I, you know, you can take it or leave it. It's not the most amazing game. It's, it's set in World War II. They were trying to, uh, I guess, adapt on that World War I formula they did from Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1, though, is superb. Really, really cool campaign with these awesome vignettes, uh, small short stories, and then a really solid multiplayer experience as well. However, if you're planning on getting a PS5 anytime soon, don't buy this because it's completely free as part of the PlayStation Plus collection on PS5, and I would just advise you to wait. Wait until you get the PS5, and then you get it completely free, and you don't have to pay for it. I was before about Assassin's Creed and I didn't realize there was another Assassin's Creed game here. AC Origins is down to 12 bucks. Like I said, all the Assassin's Creed games tend to get discounted down to this price point eventually. Origins is a better game than Rogue and it's only a dollar more. It's a no-brainer. Okay, the Borderlands Legendary Collection is discounted to $20. This is Borderlands The Handsome Collection, so that's Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel plus the original Borderlands Remastered for 20 bucks or you can pick up the original Borderlands for $10 on its own. Both of these are pretty decent. I would say uh, the Handsome Collection does go down to that $10 price point kind of frequently. I've not seen the original Borderlands go down to that $10 price point though. So together for 20 bucks, I would say is a pretty decent offering. Borderlands is a fantastic first person franchise. And if you buy their bundle, you're getting three games. They're literally gonna take you months and months to complete. So uh, if you're wanting something that's gonna take you a really long time, you've got three awesome shooter RPGs here that are gonna take you ages to finish. Uh, Devil May Cry collection is down to $15 as well. Pretty good deal for this one. I, I think 10 would be a nicer price point for this, but you're getting three classic games for that price, uh, which is not too bad. We've got ourselves a little dog here. Just decided to come watch the vlog. Really, really cool hack and slash style games that, uh, that, that, that are kind of tough as nails and probably don't stand out that well in this day and age, but if you want to get into the Devil May Cry franchise of games, uh, this could be a way to do it. All right, I think I found a place to stop. Uh, Mirror's Edge is four bucks, three ninety nine. This is a, a pretty frequent deal that we see on the PlayStation Store. If you've got EA access, again, you get this for free, free running style game here. Mirror's Edge isn't that bad, but uh, it does get discounted pretty frequently. Uh, same thing with Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. That gets discounted pretty frequently as well. It's down to five bucks, so 75% off, plus an additional 5% if you've got uh, PlayStation Plus, but again, if you've got EA Access, which is only a dollar, you get all these games anyway, so the deal's not that good, if that makes sense, even though it's a good price, just because there's a better offer at the moment. Uh, Spyro Reignited Trilogy is down to 16 bucks, 60% off. I would say this is probably one of the better deals in this sale, uh, normally $40, so, you know, there's a pretty hefty discount. You're getting three games here, which have been remastered superbly uh, for the PlayStation 4. This is probably the pick of the sale, I would say. Obviously not a cheap like $2 or $3 game, but for 16 bucks you're getting some real good quality platformers here. And you know I love mascot platformers, so I'm a little bit biased there, but if you do like 
any sort of mascot games, Spyro uh, and Crash, Ratchet, things like that, then this is a good option. I forgot to mention this before because my notes are kind of a bit jumbled, but Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered is down to $15.99. I think this is probably a little bit pricey for this. Uh, it would be nice to see this around that $10 price point. I think realistically it will get to that as well if you wait long enough. Mafia 2 and 3 are both discounted down to about uh, no, I'm good, but I appreciate the offer. Kids want to be in the vlog. <laughs> uh, Mafia 2 and 3 Definitive Edition are both discounted down to $15.19, $15 each, $14.99. I, like, I think this is probably still a little bit high. Mafia 3 has been out for a long time, so it's a bit of a joke. Still pricing it this high. Mafia 2, I guess, is only a few months old, but... It was a pretty rough port of the game. I still can't really recommend that game because they didn't do a good job bringing it to PS4. They kind of did a pretty average job at it, I would say. Far Cry Primal is down to 10 bucks. I mean, it's not a bad deal for Far Cry. Uh, all the Far Cry games tend to get discounted. This this is kind of like a lower budget version of Far Cry. It's a bit cheaper. Uh, it, it, it's it's it's. <laughs> You know, it's not it's not the same as the other Far Cry games you're playing in the the past times in this one just like past Josh I'm a bit biased about this one but Dead Rising triple bundle is down to 15 bucks as well not bad for this I mean there are three remasters of PS3 games so keep that in mind I do love Dead Rising though you know a giant mall versus full of zombies you're playing and the creating these wacky inventions and weapons to take them out it's, it's a lot of just mindless fun um, but I really dig that franchise I, I don't know I have a bit of an affinity to it I suppose so I'm Kind of a little bit biased there they're probably not amazing games uh but they're they're, they're they're fun games and for 15 bucks i think it's pretty good uh price point okay the surge 2 is down to 13 dollars, 12 dollars and 49 cents this is a great dark souls like game but it's set in the future in this kind of like dystopian world it's 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 really good though i'd recommend it these games do get discounted pretty frequently and it's a double a style game rather than a triple a style game so remember to keep that in mind as well you're not going to be getting dark souls essentially you're, you're getting the closest thing to dark souls without it being dark souls though but it's not as good as dark souls <laughs> And uh, lucky last, the, the deal I saved for last is NAC2, baby. Our Lord and Savior NAC2. I'm half expecting this to be given away as part of the stay at home like initiative of games. But uh, <laughs> until then, it's 12 bucks. It's not a good game. It's, but it is a game that we, I guess we should all own. That's apparently what Sony wants. They want us to own this game, despite it being, you know, probably one of the worst games they've ever released. Nac 2. As with all these videos, I really want to hear what you guys are going to be picking up in the comment section down below. Let me know. If you're a new viewer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're an existing viewer, hit that like button. And I'll see you gamers all in the next video. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my holiday.